lovely children. How are you all doing? I'm well by God's grace, and I know you are well too. It's been a long time. I miss you so much, and I know you've missed me too. Close your eyes, and let's say a short prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for today. We thank you for such a lovely day. Father, Lord, we thank you for all the wonderful things you keep doing in our lives. Father, we pray with faith that this pandemic will end very soon, and then we shall be together in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, do you know something? I want you all to take your Bibles and your notebooks. Let them be by your side. Let's open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 in the Bible, and it says, For our life is a matter of faith, not of sight. For our life is a matter of faith, not of sight. Children of God, we all have faith. You have faith, and I do have faith. But what is faith? Faith, in the dictionary, means a strong belief in something that we cannot see, feel, or touch. But let's see what the Bible also says about faith. So the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, that faith comes by hearing the word of God. So as children of God, we need the word of God in our life. So we need to read the word of God. We need to listen to the word of God. We, that's why we sing, read your Bibles, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bibles, pray every day if you want to go. Amen. Today we are about to learn about a wonderful father, Father Abraham and his son. So, do you know what happened? The Lord once told Abraham that, Abraham, take your son, take your son to the mountain and then kill him, sacrifice him for me. Wow, this is very difficult. Because as children of God, sometimes we pray for things. I remember sometime I prayed for an iPad. I wanted an iPad. I prayed so hard, and then I got the iPad on my birthday. And then once I was using it for um, research, I was playing games, watching Bible stories and all that. And then one morning, my daddy came that, oh, Joseph, you need to give your iPad to Kojo in the village. He's going to write an exam. Trust me. Wow. It was very difficult. I couldn't let go. But you see, Abraham didn't complain. He just woke up the next morning, took Isaac, his son, and two other guys, and the donkey, took the things for the sacrifice, and they left. You see, even waking Isaac up, sometimes our parents will wake us up. Let's go to auntie's place. No, daddy, today I have, I have an appointment with Ben 10 on telly. Daddy, I can't go. Today I want to play a movie. You know, Isaac also didn't complain. He went with his father. So sometimes, as children of God, we need to be obedient because, you know, the Bible tells us that obey your parents and you may live long. It's the only commandment with a promise. So, children, we need to obey our parents. Let's see what happened. You know, so Abraham took Isaac to the mountain. On their way going, when they were getting closer, Abraham told the two guys and the donkey that, wait here and wait for me. I'm going with Isaac to worship the Lord and we shall return. So, on their way going, Isaac asked the father, Daddy, we have um, firewood, we have things for fire, and then there's the place. So where's the lamp for the sacrifice? Hmm, what a question. And then you know what Abraham said? He said, the Lord will provide his own lamp for the sacrifice. That's faith, my friends. Sometimes we go through hard times. Look at this hard time. We go through hard times, but then we believe that God will always show his, his way. You know, sometimes we are going to write exams. We learn and learn and learn. It doesn't come. There's no understanding. But we should pray. Pray to God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When we pray and we believe in it, we have faith in it that Lord has given us understanding to conquer this exam. So we'll go and emerge victorious. Amen. So Abraham went there. He laid the sacrifice, laid Isaac on it, and then raised his knife. Just when he was about to kill Isaac, an angel of the Lord appeared and said, No, stop, don't do that. My son, out of the truthfulness and out of the faith you have in me, out of the belief you have in me, I'll make you a father of all nations. Your children will be like the stars in the sky. Have you seen the stars? In the, it's uncountable. You can't, even, you can't even count it. So that's what God did. When you stay true to God's word, when you believe in him, it comes with a reward. You will live long on earth. Now you get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see, so children of God, we need to be obedient. Children, we need to say, I remember sometime my dad went for on a trip and I told daddy I needed a toy. 
And dad said, okay, well, I'll come on Thursday. Thursday afternoon, I'll bring it. You do you know why? The Thursday afternoon, I woke up, took my bath, did everything I was supposed to do as an obedient child, and sat down and waited for him. And he brought it. The thing is, I had faith in my dad. If I, the child, had faith in a mere human, how much more God who created my dad? Eh? We need to have faith. Children, close your eyes and let's pray. Next week, I'll ask you, okay? So eyes close, everyone. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the message of faith. Father, strengthen our hearts that we shall have faith in you. Father, that anything we ask, we ask for wisdom. Even though we can't see and touch wisdom, Father, we know that we have wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.